Oh, it feels so good and cinematic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, this morning we have some very special guests joining us here dumb. to help us with a little Cinema 64. Justin's just trying to get like, comfortable. really dumb. And they, they <laughs> look at the podcasters and the cinema guys. guys. <laughs> they are here on the ARC set. We're going to chat about some movie news, some entertainment news, and we're going to play a game. Uh, Cinemaiden is here as well. Uh, she looks much more comfortable than Justin is <laughs> in, in the chair, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, okay, you guys ready to break down some of this new stuff? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Totally. This one is wild. So the character in a new movie come to theaters, but they don't have any names. There's no dialogue, and you won't recognize <laughs> oh the actors. Here's a closer look at Sasquatch Sunset. Sasquatch Sunset shows a year in the life of the title creatures, courtesy of filmmakers David and Nathan Zellner. Mix of comedy and pathos and, and both highbrow and lowbrow elements and basically just kind of exploring the human condition through the eyes of, of the Sasquatches. Oh. Jesse Eisenberg was so taken by the script, he signed on as an actor and a producer. It's making something truly unusual, which is like actually rare in independent films, even though it seems like it should be the norm. And it's doing it in such a sophisticated, brilliant, funny way. I just had somebody say that the Zellner brothers are making a movie about Sasquatch, a Sasquatch family. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm strange, but I was immediately like very excited by that. So <laughs> It is so funny and so sad and sweet and hilarious and unusual. Uh, just, I think we're all just so pleased that it exists. We knew we wouldn't have a lot of time because the makeup takes a few hours to put on every morning. Uh, we knew that we would be remote. We knew that weather would be a factor. I think we were laughing at how absurd some of the interactions were. Like, you'd start a conversation and then you'd look over and, 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 <laughs> and, and you're talking to a Sasquatch. So. Oh my goodness. We, it's a Planet of the Apes eventually. It, just a quick question. <laughs> what? Does it come out on 420? I don't. It would, oh, it would be. Should. It would feel should. appropriate if it did. <laughs> it might, on um, April twentieth, it might be. Yeah, so I think it's supposed to be serious. That's my guess. Well, so we were discussing. How can it, it not be? Is it like a mockumentary or serious? But it. No, because uh, uh, be Ari Aster, he did like Midsommar and Hereditary is involved with this, and like he's like real serious. Okay. I don't know. Tanner says it comes out. April nineteenth, April so it's out that weekend. Oh man. I'm just. Saying. I just. I can't quite. I can't quite wrap, wrap my, my brain yeah. around. Uh, my, pal, my friends who love 420 also love Sasquatches, so that makes sense. <laughs> yep. So, <laughs> from a marketing standpoint, sense. it was absolutely they the right way to But they, they, their Sasquatch look very much like, uh, I think it was Land of the Lost. Didn't they oh, have yeah, yeah. sort of a, a creature kind of kind of like that, yeah. like the original Land of the Lost? And then a little bit um, 2001 yeah, Space, Space Odyssey. Space yeah, Odyssey, yeah, yeah. You know? Except I get like, I'm guessing no dialogue. And no, no. They're just they don't talk. watching a... Sasquatch yeah, I, I don't know what Sasquatches do. <laughs> yeah, don't do. You know well, what? we're about to find out. <laughs> Maybe none of us do. do. I, it's so unusual, it though. Is. I couldn't, I cannot imagine. Maybe I'm just an uncultured kind of a guy. <laughs> That's probably well established at this point. But I just can't imagine sitting down and watching that literally ever in my life. Ever. I Harry and the Hendersons? That's it. Yes. Oh, We're going to watch it then. Great. We're going to uh, watch I, it. I will definitely watch it because I do, it's we, it looks weird. I do appreciate something different these days. Yeah. I do something like weird. that, hey, you've made something a little different. I'm definitely going to check it out. Well, also, one of my favorite movies, Midsommar, is the same director, right? Oh, yeah. Did you ever so, see Midsommar? Uh -uh. No. It's one of those that you'll get something in your head and you'll never you get it out. You need a good mind so space to watch it. It's, it's okay. very, it's, it's crazy. I once Anyways. saw Cocaine Bear. I'll go see that. <laughs> uh, Cocaine Bear. Uh, Cocaine Bear was wonderful. Uh, it was entertaining. That has some I'm gross scenes in it, too. It does. Yes. All just, right. That was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> Universal Pictures is getting the band back together. And by band, we mean killer, animatronics, and a horrifying kids arcade. Mm. The studio mm -hmm. has announced that they will be making a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's. The series is based on a video game with the same name. The first movie starred Kentucky native Josh Hutcherson. Uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 has a tentative date. Uh, I'm not sure. Is For that... a release date sometime probably May next, next... May 20th. Okay. Here we go. I 
didn't see the first one of this either, guys. I'm not. I'm know. just not a horror, now, did like your, a horror movie did guy. Your my, children, you have children, so because that's what I associate it with my kids. Like they liked that. My 16 year old when he was little liked that game. So okay. Like, I think that's the target audience. It's, so you 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 think of the arcade yeah. game even before they're the rated movie. like PG 13. So I just think it's like that's I think it's rated, where it's, it's trying to land. Kids. Or it did well, teenagers. right? The first like, movie. It did seventy five million like, or something with adults too. Yeah. No, people saw it. Yeah, I guess people loved it. Maybe they're adults now. Were you? No. I don't know. <laughs> she seemed offended that you asked her that question. No. No. My son, so I, w- I wouldn't allow him to see the movie, but yeah. the kids, all at school, I think the kids maybe either play the game. Yeah, the um, game. And then we've got, I've got children's books. They're, There's they're, children's that are, books? Yes, there are. But we got from the library. So. I mean, it's a great concept because the Chuck E. Cheese things terrified me. Sure. Oh, yeah, little, yeah. So. Ew, those animatronics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that Chuck E. Cheese experience. Okay. It's just so, you, when you get to a certain age, you're just like, it's just loud here. Yeah. I did play it's the game so it's always once. Sticky. I played it with my child once to be like, it was just scary. And it really is yeah. kind of yeah. scary. Hey, mm-hmm. don't don't knock the ski ball, though. I love me some <laughs> oh, Chuck E. Cheese yeah, ski yeah, ball. Generally speaking, And the pizza, ball is which was gross. But I loved it when I was little. So when you're playing arcade games and got a giant, you know, arcade mouse yelling at you, off you go. Some of the Chuck E. Cheese's have wine, too. I just throw that out there. Oh, really? Just letting you know. What? There's also a little heroin in the ball pit. Too. That's not true. <laughs> what? That's, but that's, is that, in the, that must just be in the movie. That's not in the movie. No. <laughs> this is going off You're the a rally. manager of a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Uh, they're the cinema guys. Chuck E. Cheese. Margot Robbie <laughs> has her eye on Boardwalk Ooh. and Park Place. Her production company and Lionsgate are working on a Monopoly movie. Okay. Yeah, no word what the story will be related to the popular board game. Margo Robbie and her production partners at Lucky Chap have been busy since Barbie was last year's biggest movie, grossing nearly one and a half billion dollars worldwide. Really leading into uh, toys and board <laughs> games for films these days, I guess. Yeah. But. All right. If you had to make up a plot point for the Monopoly movie right now, let's see if you're right in a couple of years. What would you? What would your? Oh, what would the story even be? Capitalism, for sure. I, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think you have some evil tycoon. Is he yeah. with the monocle? Gotta have the monocle. He, well, he doesn't he have, have a monocle, right? Have that's, a monocle. A, that's one of those like he doesn't have Mandela a monocle. effect things, right? Like Mandela he does effect. not he have a monocle. He doesn't have yeah. one. He doesn't have a monocle. Does. No, no it's, right? a, it's one of those. No, Mandela uh, effects. You know, I just, in Ace Ventura, okay. he refers to him as the the, yeah. the Monopoly uh, yeah, guy. Yeah, that no, guy yeah. has a monocle. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, got to be some evil tycoon and like some small business kind of thing. Park Place. It takes place. Yeah, Park Place. Yeah, to be someone goes to jail for free. I don't. It's got to be like you've got mail, but Monopoly. You know what I mean? Like at least one scene where they're like walking on these. Rocky sort of thing. <laughs> and and you'll see that be There's a, a top thimble. hat that rolls down the street. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to involve the thimble, but we will find a or way. Or is it just the movie Wall Street again? Like something like that. <laughs> 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 Gets Wolf Gordon. of Wall Street. We made it. Gordon Gecko in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, a major cast announcement has been made. Upcoming movie Wicked's got a new entry, and this is impressive. Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage mm. will be the voice of Dr. Dillamond. Mm. If you've never seen Wicked, Dr. Dillamond is a goat man that, that serves as a professor for the two protagonists. All of the media surrounding this announcement refers to Dinklage as voicing the character, which likely means it'll be a, a full CGI sort of situation. Wicked part one is set to defy gravity and come to theaters mm-hmm. on November 27th. That's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I, th- that'll be spectacular. Did you ever see the the on stage? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Oh, yes. I've never seen it. Oh my Listen, gosh. Before the, uh, if you get a chance, I don't know if it's touring or where it is, but I remember going to see it and yeah. all the hype around it. And sometimes you go to things and you're like, yeah, the hype, it was all right, but it wasn't. When they, right, when she said right before the end of the part. gravity, Yep, right, I mean, right I had the the first chills. Act. Ooh. I, yeah. I was in tears. Like it was like a performance like I had never seen. I remember yeah. making a, a phone call at intermission, saying, "I think I just saw the the best half of any mm. musical I've ever yeah. I've oh, ever wow. seen." Are you happy with when the cast choice for the film? Oh yeah, yeah. Ariana yeah. Grande. She'll be yeah. she'll be great. Be great. I think um, it's good. I, I love Peter Dinklage too. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. pretty much <laughs> universally awesome in, yeah. in yes. things. Yeah. Well, we've got a rom com reboot we need to talk about. Renee Zellweger. Guys, is returning for another follow-up to Bridget Jones' Diary. How many are we on? Now? I don't know. I don't, it's the third, third? four, four, four. four. Okay, Hugh wow. Grant. I think I only saw the first one. I know, me too. Hugh Grant and Emma Thompson uh, are also confirmed to return to the franchise. This will be the fourth movie in the, the series, wow. following the most recent reboot, Bridget Jones' Baby, in 2014. Oh. The first movie came out in 2001. This new movie is slated to start streaming on Peacock on Valentine's Day, oh, 2025. I Yeah, I think I'm the same. I think I've seen the first one. Yeah. I don't think I've yeah, seen I, any of the other ones. I, I just like the first one. This would go the way of the Sasquatch. I, really like I probably won't 
<laughs> probably, probably not like one. Yeah. But I guess people who are, are big fans will right. go. Yeah. I mean, if you're making a fourth one, you're doing something. Right. I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? People, there's a market for it. Yeah. If you're doing, yeah. So. Guess so. They crunch the numbers. They know. They're like, they let's go ahead and do that. People watch it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest. You don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.